right, welcome back to OD5. Coming to you with something that you haven't seen on my channel in a long time because I haven't done this particular activity in a long time and that is buy a fishing reel. So what I'm gonna be doing today is an unboxing. So I'm going into my little drawer here and getting a knife because, you know, what's better to open a box when you're doing an unboxing than a butter knife. So we're gonna just cut the top here. Breaking the earth. A little more cut, a little more cut help. Get us, get us out of here. All right, and you're probably wondering, drum roll, what did he buy? Well, if you've seen, or if you've been around my channel for a bit, you have seen a video where I actually shot a video on how to put braid on a bait caster reel. And the reel in that video finally did meet its maker and um, has gone to the uh, old reel um, place in the sky, so to speak. So I replaced it. So I got another Abu Garcia 6500C. Um, you know, this was a reel that I actually had used and used and used and used. And I actually ended up taking the brakes out of this one so that I could cast it even further. And that's what I'm hoping to be able to do with this one. I'm actually planning to go fishing tomorrow. Um, weather permitting, have storms coming all throughout the uh, east. And um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make it through. But you can see here, typical of, you know, when you get a reel that has all the parts here. So if you had to uh, reorder or anything like that, uh, you have that information so that you know what the part number is. And then the warranty information here as well. Um, I don't want to bore you with any of that. So um, here it is, the replacement um, to a classic in my fishing repertoire for many years. You can see it's a right-handed uh, setup. And... Um, so definitely you know, looking forward to getting this all set up and, and, and getting to use it tomorrow. Um, you can also see that in the box, they give you oil. So of course, you know, it's good to uh, rinse and lube your reels after a day of saltwater fishing to keep them nice and healthy and never, never, ever uh, lay these down in the sand. The sand is the enemy of a bait caster reel or any reel for that matter. Laying it down in the sand if you're at the beach uh, is a big no-no. Uh, we're looking at some of the specs here just to share those with you if you're not um, familiar with the Abu, Abu Garcia. Abu Garcia. Uh, that's a tongue twister for me today. Uh, but you can see it actually is um, from a bearing standpoint it has four. Uh, the gear ratio is five uh, three one and um, you can see also looking at the weight here is actually a 305 grams or, or 10 and 7 ounces. Um, so that's that's what we're looking at here. Um, for, as far as the specifications are concerned. But again, this is um, really a cool reel for me because I just remember some of the good benefits of it is that it has this drag. Um, so if you, know, if you wanted, wanted to like release your spool and um, you know, be able to actually, you know, be able to actually just like let, set the rod down on deck and um, allow the fish to come and pull the line, that drag is cool for that. You would just hear the line clicking like that as the, as the fish pulled it away. And of course, to be able to release the tension or the amount of tension uh, you'd have on it, um, you know, just from a casting standpoint, you know, whether it's going to be a heavy weight or a lighter weight, you have your tension um, space here. Um, you can see the nice um, monogram, I guess you can call it on the side, the 6500C3. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, this reel actually was made in Sweden. Um, you know, I'm not, you know, too partial to where the different reels are made. I just know that this has been a good one in my uh, fishing arsenal for a long time, and I'm really excited to have it back. And then, of course, here, um, you also have the ability to, um, you know, to set your drag, you know, how tight you want your drag to be. Uh, so, so that's what you're looking at there. So definitely um, a reel that I'm looking forward to getting in the mix real quick. And uh, the reel that I'm actually going to be marrying this one up with um, is a pin prevail. Um, so you can see this is actually um, pin prevail. You can see it actually still has the plastic on it. I did use it a little bit uh, when I still lived in, lived in Wilmington, but um, this reel is getting ready to get in the mix. And uh, this is actually a tall rod. So um, the spot I'm going tomorrow down in Savannah, not too far from Tybee Island, um, is, is deep water. So I'm looking forward to casting out into it a good bit. Uh, this is actually an 11 foot rod. So um, I don't even know if I can do it justice by putting it together here uh, for you to be able to actually see it. But um, you can see that this thing goes a good way. So I'm uh, definitely looking forward to this. And um, I'm gonna stop rambling and get this video up. So for those of you that might be shopping for uh, a good reel, I definitely recommend 
uh, this Arbu, Arbu Garcia uh, 6500 uh, C3 uh, because it actually is a great reel. And I also have a, a, a C4 of this uh, same variety. It's blue. Um, I don't know. I can't, I can't really say that I like that one as much as I like this one. Um, so something about just the uh, the spool release um, seems to be a little bit just a little bit funky, a little bit different uh, than this one. Um, so if I had to pick between the two, I would definitely say go with the uh, 6500 C3 uh, because I think this one, you know, when I take the brakes out, casts a mile, and I never had any problems with it for forever. Um, if you saw my last video where I was fishing uh, in Savannah and I had the mixed bag with the whiting and the uh, bluefish and the pigfish, um, I actually was using the uh, 6600 um, or the C4. I believe that's, believe that's the, um, the number on that one. So uh, check it out if you haven't already seen it. Of course, I'm going to be trying to do more of these fishing videos in the months and days to come. And uh, hopefully we do good tomorrow and um, get you something good to watch. So as always, when you're out there catching stuff maybe that you don't want, I say toss them back, let them live another day. And um, as my slogan goes, be kind to the fish.